Betty Anderson is a incredibly caring and very friendly person. She's also extremely modest to the point of being self-effacing. Betty came to William & Mary from Nathalie, Virginia. Betty was unsure of herself and uh, whether her preparation was adequate. She uh, soon found that she was a rising academic star. But when she received the Arthur Maddox Scholarship, which was given to the 10 most promising students in our class, that really bolstered her confidence. She is not only devoted to William and Mary, but she is also such a phenomenon in our era of women who've achieved so much. There were very few women back in the day who majored in organic chemistry at William and Mary. Betty not only went the full way with that, she broke a lot of glass ceilings and she got a, um, she's probably one of the only women in the 1970s, if not the only woman, to receive a Department of Defense grant to complete her doctoral work. Betty, as head majorette for two years and as a leader in her sorority, uh, learned how to lead from by example and rather than top-down dictation to other people. And she continued that in her work at EPA and later in the private sector. The guidelines that she developed while she was at EPA are still in use today. She has brought enormous prestige to this university. She is a devoted alum who got a whole lot out of her education and her time on this campus.